Hello, my name is Thane and you are about to see how Midjourney version 6 interprets these 50 very rarely used words. I took a selection of words that some people may never even have heard of. Or if you have heard of these, you probably don't use them on a day-to-day -day basis. I ran these words as prompts through Midjourney. After that, I selected four prompts where I added each of these words as the first word in the prompt. My selections for the four prompts were Princess Drawing I chose this one because I wanted to generate some really pretty images. Futurism This came about because I wanted to include some sci-fi in the mix, but in the end, I realized I could have gone even more sci-fi. Mechanical Angel I wanted to combine fantasy with sci-fi, so I chose this prompt. Unfortunately, I ended up with a bunch of sculptures or statues, but there were some rare gems in the mix as well. Orb. A remembrance to a prompt I started out with on this channel and a jab at a running joke at Midjourney's office hours. This also had some mixed results, but I decided to stick with it. Normally I put the words I experiment with in alphabetical order, or just any random order, but this time I wanted to do something different. I looked at all the images and sorted them by the order that I most liked overall. And I also checked that I had not prompted any of these words on their own before, so to me they are totally unique. So get ready and let's get going. Number 50. Dodecahedron. A polyhedron composed of 12 flat faces, each of which is a regular pentagon, it is one of the platonic solids, with congruent regular polygonal faces and the same number of faces, meeting at each vertex. The dodecahedron has 20 vertices, with three faces meeting at each one. Number 49. Scintillating. Describe something that emits bright flashes or sparks of light, creating a dazzling and brilliant effect. It evokes a sense of something shimmering, twinkling, or sparkling with an almost mesmerizing quality, catching the eye with its radiant display. Number 48. Stratified. Arranged in multiple parallel layers or strata, with one layer or stratum lying on top of another. This layered structure is commonly seen in sedimentary rocks formed from accumulated deposits over time, as well as in certain social structures divided into distinct hierarchical classes or groups. Number 47. Phosphenes. The luminous shapes, spots, or patterns of light that are perceived without any actual light entering the eye. These can manifest as rings, zigzags, or amorphous glowing forms perceived in the visual field when the eyes are closed or in very low light conditions. Number 46. Quintessence. The pure and highly concentrated essence or extract of something, representing its most perfect or typical embodiment. It captures the intrinsic and indispensable qualities that are the most fundamental nature or most vital part of that thing. Number 45. Seraglio. In the Ottoman Empire, the sequestered quarters or palace where the wives, concubines, and female servants of a Turkish sultan resided, isolated from the outside world in a highly structured polygamous household and court. Number 44. Tessellate. To arrange or lay out small pieces, typically tiles or similarly shaped elements, in a repeated pattern across a surface without any gaps or spaces between them. This creates a covering of interlocking, tessellated shapes. Number 43. Camayu. A type of monochrome painting, drawing or decoration using different shades, tints, and values of a single color applied in gradations, rather than distinct separations to create a tonal or three-dimensional effect. Number 42. Syncretism. The amalgamation or reconciliation of different religions, cultures, or schools of thought into a new conglomerate system that incorporates select elements from each. 
it results from attempting to merge and unify disparate or even contradictory beliefs and practices. Number 41. Syzygy, an alignment of three or more celestial bodies in a straight line, such as when the Earth, Moon, and Sun form a line during a solar or lunar eclipse. This relatively rare positional arrangement has significance in astronomy. Number 40. Scintillant. Describing something that sparkles or scintillates, emitting bright flashes or twinkling lights that seem to dance and shimmer. A scintillant object appears to glitter and emit brilliant bursts of light that catch the eye in a vibrant, shimmering display. Number 39. Parietal. Relating to the walls or lining of a cavity, vessel, or hollow organ within the body. This term is often used in anatomy, such as the parietal pleura lining the thoracic cavity, or the parietal layer of certain membranes. Number 38. Susurrus. A soft, whispered rustling sound like the murmuring of leaves in a gentle breeze. It has a hushed quality, describing faint sibilant noises that seem to quietly rise and fall in a calming, atmospheric way. Number 37. Guilloche. An ornamental decorative pattern consisting of two or more bands or strands that interweave in a repeated spiral design, creating intricate circular and curved lines with geometric regularity and complexity. Number 36. Apophenic. The tendency to perceive meaningful connections, patterns or associations between unrelated phenomena or random data where none actually exist. Apophenia involves finding significance and seeing recognizable shapes in abstractions. Number 35. Apogee. In an elliptical orbit, the point at which a celestial body like the Moon is farthest from the larger body it orbits, representing the highest point of its orbit and its greatest distance away. Number 34. Palatinate. Historically, a province or territory under the rule and authority of a palatine or imperial prince, typically located near a royal palace and serving as the prince's residence and sphere of power. Number 33. Evanescent. Tending to vanish or fade away rapidly and become imperceptible, leaving no permanent trace. An evanescent phenomenon is fleeting, transitory, and ephemeral, existing for only a very brief moment. Number 32. Argyrosphere. The uppermost portion or layer of the atmosphere that contains traces of ionized silver particles or silver ions. It makes up part of the ionosphere above the mesosphere. Number 31. Anamorphosis. A distorted or deformed projection or drawing that appears normal or achieves its intended form when viewed from a particular angle or with a curved mirror. This was an artistic technique creating illusions of perspective. Number 30. Helicol. Having a spiral or coiled shape that follows a circular or corkscrew path around an axis line, like the structure of DNA or certain types of springs. A helical form curves and winds continuously in a smooth, helical pattern. Number 
Number 29. Solipsistic, the philosophical idea that only one's own mind is certain to exist. Solipsism is the extreme form of subjective idealism that dismisses the possibility of knowing reality outside of one's own personal mind or consciousness. Number 28. Marini. Patterns made from colored glass rods that are arranged, fused together into a bundle, then sliced perpendicularly to reveal the cross-sectional design. These slices can be fused into a glass object, creating intricate multicolored surface decorations. Number 27. Aquiline, curved with a prominent convex shape reminiscent of an eagle's beak. An aquiline nose or profile has a distinguished downward curve and hook shape that is considered striking or noble looking. Number 26. Elysian. Relating to the Elysian fields, the final resting place of the blessed and righteous in Greek mythology, it evokes an idyllic paradise of bliss and serenity reserved for virtuous souls. Number 25. Efflorescence. The gradual formation of crystallized salt deposits on a surface, caused by salt particles being transported through a porous material and recrystallizing as the water evaporates. It can create decorative patterns. Number 24. Sempiternal, continuing forever without end, existing or remaining for an endless duration of time. Something that is sempiternal is perpetual, eternal, and everlasting with no termination point. Number 23. Grillage, a grid-like foundation made of layers of concrete encased steel or timber beams used to distribute the weight of a building over poor or loose soil conditions that cannot support a conventional foundation. Number 22. Melancholia. A profound, deeper form of sadness and depression that is extremely long-lasting, severe in nature, and difficult to overcome. Melancholia goes beyond transient sorrow or grief. Number 21. Phantasmagoric. Having a fantastic, dreamlike, or deceptive appearance like an ever-shifting optical illusion. A phantasmagoric scene seems strange, marvelous, and almost supernaturally imaginative in its spectral characteristics. Number 20. Ombre. A gradual blending of one shade into another, creating a smooth transition between light and dark tones of the same color. Ombre effects are often used in hair coloring, textiles, and makeup to produce a gently graded pattern from one hue to a deeper or lighter one. Number 19. Imbroglio. An extremely complicated, confusing and embarrassing situation involving people whose motives or roles are difficult to untangle or understand. An imbroglio is a disorganized and convoluted state of affairs where the elements seem hopelessly intermixed. Number 18. Architectonic. Having characteristics relating to the art and principles of constructing buildings or other complex structures, something architectonic exhibits structural design qualities like unified planning, order, and organized complexity. Number 17. Tenebrism. A style of painting characterized by distinct areas of deep shadowing and darkness juxtaposed with dramatically illuminated elements. 
Tenebrism uses sharp chiaroscuro and slashes of light to make objects vividly stand out against pitch black backgrounds. Number 16. Arabesque. A intricate, flowing pattern of intertwined leaves, vines, branches, or scroll-like designs common in Islamic art. Arabesques employ rhythmic linear forms that often diverge and meander in ingeniously woven or plated motifs. Number 15. Sgraffito. A decorative technique where a surface is covered with a coating which is then scratched or etched to reveal the underlying layer of a contrasting color or material underneath. Number 14. Philotaxis. The arranged pattern, positioning, and spiral orientations of leaves, branches, seeds, and other components in plants and organisms exhibiting symmetries related to the Fibonacci sequence. Number 13. Labyrinthine. Having a circuitous, winding, maze-like configuration of interconnecting paths or passageways. Something labyrinthine is intricately twisted, turned, and complicated like the ancient single-path mazes carved into stone. Number 12. Limerent. Experiencing an involuntary, intensely obsessive form of romantic desire and attachment. Limerence involves intrusive thoughts, feelings of desperation, and compulsive behaviors focused on a specific individual. Number 11. Auroral, of, or relating to the vivid, shimmering atmospheric lights caused by charged particles colliding with atoms in the upper atmosphere, known as the aurora borealis or australis in the northern and southern hemispheres. Number 10. Cloisonné. An enameling technique where flat wire strips are bent and soldered onto a metal surface, creating compartments which are then filled with colored enamel paste and fired at high temperatures to produce a decorative pattern. Number 9. Penumbra. The partially shaded outer region of a shadow's cone, where the light source is partially obscured. This creates a gradient of lighter and darker areas surrounding the full shadow or umbra cast by an eclipsing object. Number 8. Fulgurite. A glassy, branching tube or structure formed when lightning strikes sandy soil or rock instantly melting and fusing the material into amorphous silica glass as the extreme heat travels through. Number 7. Hoarfrost, a feathery white deposit of frozen water vapor that condenses directly as ice crystals on outdoor surfaces when the temperature is below freezing. It creates intricate, fern-like patterns on objects. Number 6. Alizarin. A vibrant red dye originally derived from the roots of the madder plant, with a distinctive bright crimson hue. It was historically important as a textile and painting pigment before synthetic alternatives emerged. Number 5. Opalescent. Exhibiting a milky iridescence and the luminous, rainbow-like play of colors caused by the diffraction and interference of light, similar to the optical properties of opals. Number 6. 
Number 4. Cymatics. The study and visualization of patterns formed by sound wave vibrations, typically on plates or membranes covered in particles that arrange themselves into geometric figures when exposed to certain frequencies. Number 3. Chromotherapy, an alternative medicine practice that uses exposure to specific colored lights to theoretically treat various physical, mental, or emotional disorders by affecting the body's energy fields. Number 2. Eldritch. Something sinister, spectral, or unnatural that induces a sense of dread, fright or vast cosmic horror that transcends our understanding. It refers to forces barely conceivable by human minds. Number 1. Ouroboros, an ancient circular symbol, depicting a serpent or dragon devouring its own tail, representing cyclicality, the infinite cycle of nature's eternal recreating itself, and the notion of life emerging from life. And that concludes the list of 50 really obscure words that produce quite nice images when prompted in mid-journey. I hope you learned something new, and let me know in the comments if you would have ranked these differently. Watch this video next to see 15 styles for your prompts based on different techniques. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.